Hello everyone, welcome back to our sports news channel. Today, we're going to dive into an in-depth look at Nick Robertson's status with the Toronto Leafs. With his goal-scoring ability highlighted and the team's current power play ineffectiveness, we're here to explore why Robertson not only deserves a spot in the starting lineup, but should also be a key cog in the power play game. Let's get straight to the point. Nick Robertson's best trait is his ability to score goals. He consistently stands out as one of the team's top scorers. However, surprisingly, he is often left out of the starting lineup. This raises questions about the team's tactical decisions. One of the Leafs' biggest problems is the power play, which is weaker than it should be. And the most curious thing is that they don't even use the team's second best scorer, who has an elite shot in the NHL. We are talking about a valuable weapon that is being underutilized. Among the players being selected ahead of Robertson, Dewar, Reeves, Kampf, Domi, McMahon, Holmberg and Jarncroc, exactly none of them have the ability to decide a game like Robertson. It's important to note that a simple lineup change made by Sheldon Keith could have a significant impact. Putting Nick Robertson on the power play would be one of those crucial changes. And if there is an even more impactful change, it would be to simply give him regular time in 5-on-5 five, five play. It's undeniable that Nick Robertson shouldn't be left out of the Leafs lineup. There are at least 6 players on the roster he should replace, probably even more. He wouldn't be benched on any other NHL team, and he shouldn't be on this team either. At this point, leaving Nick Robertson out is the same as the Toronto Blue Jays leaving David Schneider out, meaningless to the point of embarrassment. We hope this analysis helps highlight Nick Robertson's importance to the Leafs, and that the team's tactical decisions are re-evaluated to make the most of the talent he has to offer. 